Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Julian Montgomery, and I'm right in the middle of composing music for a film called Pothlavon Orb of Artemis. It's uh, created and directed by Jay Pickens, who is based out of Washington, D.C. And uh, for one of the cues that I am writing uh, for this film, I was looking for a sound that is kind of mysterious and kind of ominous. Um, and I, I do a lot of my own uh, sound design in Omnisphere. So uh, I decided to create a, a simple sound. Um, and let me let me just show you what it, what it sounds like. All right. So uh, we're gonna go through this pretty quickly, um, but I'll 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 first show you um, one of the first things that I decided was that I was going to use the shared signal path. Um, there's normal and there's shared. Normal normal would be what you typically would expect out of Omnisphere. Each oscillator has its own signal path, uh, which is to say uh, each, each layer here has its own signal path. Uh, but with the shared signal path, what that basically means is that um, all of your, your oscillators are going to go through the signal path for layer A. So they're, uh, they're basically going to have a shared signal path. Um, the benefit of that is that uh, it saves on CPU. Um, and there's, you know, obviously the downside is that then they each oscillator doesn't have its own independent path. So, uh, you know, you can't, let's say, ap apply a filter to uh, layer A and then apply a different filter to layer B. They're all going to use the same one. So uh, for this simple sound, uh, I thought that made sense to use the, the shared signal path. Um, so um, let me turn off all of the uh, things that I added here. And this is what the sound, uh, what the waveforms that I I'm starting with is what they sound like. All right, so just some some typical uh, sawtooth type waves. Um, so uh, for uh, for the oscillator uh, for layer A, I am using uh, unison, and these are the settings here. And then I'm also using some FM synthesis where I'm kind of modulating this particular saw with this shape here. Um, and you can see the depth is not, not, not too high. So it's not, it's not a drastic uh, modulation, but um, the other thing that I'm doing is on layer B is I'm adding some, some, unison to this particular uh, waveform. So with those things added in, this is what it sounds like. All right. So then um, I'm also uh, applying a filter. And it's just a low pass filter, pretty uh, standard filter is one of the one of the presets that comes in Omnisphere. Um, and I've kind of set the cutoff to what I per, what wanted for this particular sound. Um, so um, here's what it sounds like. And I, did, I chose to turn the envelope off. Um, so I wanted this filter to apply um, right away and not go through any kind of envelope to kind of shape how the, how, how the filter is applied. Um, so, uh, the other thing is I added some effects. So there is a, a delay, um, and then there's also distortion. Um, so let me play this now with these effects added in. All right. So, so these are all of the, the, uh, kind of 
design elements that I have so far. So now comes the, the variability part of this. So I'm using four different LFOs. Um, and you can kind of see here, I am modulating the FM depth, the uh, pitch, um, the mix of the distortion, and the amplitude. So let me walk through each one of these. So the FM depth, um, you know, it just, it's just how much of this, uh, how much do you want your signal kind of, uh, modulated by this, by this other waveform. And so what I wanted to do was kind of in a, in a steady way, uh, to, uh, increase the depth and then bring it back down, increase it, bring it back down. So LFO is a, is a good option for that. And so I'm using LFO one and you can kind of see here, you know, it's changing the depth quite a bit. Uh, as, as you see this little marker go up and down. So here's, here's what it sounds like with, uh, with this LFO, uh, this modulation routing unmuted. All right. And so this is set to two X. So basically, um, you know, every two, uh, measures, uh, that's kind of the, the, the length of, of this particular LFO. Every two measures is it'll kind of go up and down. So um, the other, the next modulation setting is for the pitch, and this, so this I wanted there to just be, um, uh, just to go out of tune just slightly um, as it's playing, and then go back in tune, and so pitch fine is is the one that made the most sense because I just want to just slightly affect the pitch. So uh, this one is at three three x. So basically, the FM depth depth is changing uh, every two measures, and the uh, pitch is changing every three measures. They're both using a sine wave. So it's a real smooth change and you can, you can tell, uh, as we look at the, I'll pull this one back up. As we look at, at the little white marker going here, you know, it's a real smooth, uh, I don't know, the, the modulation is just really, really smooth. And that's kind of what a sine wave gives you. And that's, that's what I was looking for here. So with the pitch, you can tell, you can see I'm not, I'm not really changing it a lot. Uh, so from where it starts, it just kind of goes out of pitch a little bit and basically goes sharp. And then it, and then it comes back into tune. So this is kind of what it, what it sounds like. So then uh, the next one is the distortion mix. So right now, you know, at its base setting, it's just at 23%. Um, so it's, it's not a ton of distortion, um, although this particular setting really does kind of really distort the, the signal. Um, so kind of what I wanted to do was uh, I wanted it to uh, slightly change that the mix of the distortion, um, change it to some some amount um, higher than the than the uh, the lowest setting that I have it set at, hold it there and then change it to some other setting and then hold it there and then just keep doing that. So it's kind of a bit random um, and 
uh, you know, whereas the other ones, there is just a kind of a smooth back and forth, back and forth. In this case, I want to just kind of change it a little bit randomly, but hold it. Uh, and so in that case, I used the sample and hold. Uh, and you can kind of see here that this one is, uh, is, it looks a lot more squiggly, I guess is the word I would use, than say a, a sine wave. And so and this is going to uh, do it at, at, at half a measure. So, you know, like a, uh, it's, it's basically, uh, you know, just going to do it at a lot faster pace than the other two. So let me hold it here. Let me play this and you'll hear it change the, the, the distortion. All right, so it's, the distortion kind of changes. It doesn't change, you know, a ton, but it's a, it's a little bit variable, right? And so the last one is the amplitude. So I wanted to give it a little bit of a pulse. Um, so um, I ended up using LFO4. Now this is set at, at uh, 2x, so is LFO1. Right, they're both 2x, but I decided to to use a different LFO so that I could uh, play around with with uh, modulating the amplitude without having any impact on how I was modulating the FM depth. Uh, so since LFO one was already modulating FM depth, I used a different LFO. I ended up settle, settling on the same rate, um, but. You know, I might use this sound in other cues, and I may want to have it uh, pulsate faster or slower. And so, assigning this to to other to, to this LFO allows me to do that. So, uh, so this is basically just going to make it get. Uh, it starts off, you know, with amplitude up, and then it's going to go down, and then go back up, go down, and go back up. So it kind of has a, a bit of a pulse to it. So now I'll play the sound. This is kind of the, the final sound. Right? So uh, that is, you know, some e those are some easy ways to, to add some variability. Just using LFOs, once you've uh, kind of designed your sound, you know, got the... Uh, got it shaped correct the, the way that you want it uh, using whatever filter you want and effects then you can you can add you can use LFOs to change different aspects or to modulate different aspects of uh, of the way that you have uh, set up this sound so that it adds some some variability and it's not the same every every time you you play a note so uh i'm just gonna play real real quickly a little bit of this uh cue so you can kind of hear what it sounds like uh you know in in a piece of of, of music i won't play the whole thing but just enough for you to kind of kind of hear what it what it's doing <laughs> There you have it. Uh, 
you know, uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you know, leave, leave, leave the comments in, in the uh, comments field. And if, you, uh, if there's a question, let me know and I'll try to respond. Um, but uh, this is, a, you know, some quick, easy ways to add variability to the sounds that you design. And even if you're not using Omnisphere, I mean, the concepts are pretty much the same in any synth that you're using. Uh, so hopefully someone finds this helpful. Um, and again, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll respond. There you have it.